WDAS 105.3, your adult mix. I couldn't get more adult and more serious than being with this man right here. That is Mr. Eric Vinay. Eric Vinay, hey. What's up, love? How you feeling? I am feeling so good. You know, you know, you are the singer that has wooed us, that has swooned us. And every time we heard, like, sometimes I cry, it's <laughs> like, you know what? That was the song that really resonated not only with women, but yeah. it resonated with men. Because men, even Cut had that on his phone. I said, you know what, Cut? Oh, it's kind of going on a year now. I'm sitting here and sometimes I cry. But really, it resonated with men and you and men and women. And for a man to be, a man to be able to say that he is able to cry to me is really a true man. Yeah, that was, thank, thank you for that. That was an interesting thing about that song. I mean, it was a lot of... Uh, a, a lot of men that felt like I was able to say some things that either they didn't want to admit to right. or they just uh, couldn't quite put it into words. And so that's that's like a huge compliment, you know, for a songwriter when you're able to channel what, you know, somebody's like feeling and thinking. So that, that was that was dope. I'm really excited about your new single, which is Real Love. Yeah. I want to know what, what inspired it and uh, yeah. how it come about. Real Love, I mean, it's... Um, it's really coming from the heart and it's real experience right now you know I mean it's um, it's uh, w what's in my life right now you know I just I just got married mm -hmm. um, got a baby and on the way and your wife's name is my, my, <laughs> my wife's name is Manuela mm -hmm. Manuela and um, yeah life is life is wonderful and, and it's a baby on the a way a baby on the way I got one second year at USC and another one about to come. Isn't this beautiful? Yeah, people, it's really... A lot of people don't know that um, Manuela was originally, she was a married, not originally, mm -hmm. because there ain't nothing original yeah, I, we, other we, than what is the present yeah, right now. This is the original. This is the original. Right <laughs> and, you know, she was married to Prince. <laughs> right. And she is gorgeous. She's beautiful inside Absolutely and gorgeous. I saw her on one of those shows, either Real Housewives or something, and they were having lunch or something. I said, oh! <laughs> I finally got a close-up because I only seen her, like, you know, perform, and that's yeah. always from a distance. And, and then we can talk about that. That later about her personality, but I also mm. want to talk about you've been married before to um, one of Oscar award winning, most successful African American mm -hmm. women, and that is Holly Berry. And what have you learned through being married to either Holly or being married in general that has transcended you to um, to where you are now? And what advice can you give those um, that are in a relationship? Excellent questions. Excellent questions. I mean, I feel like when I look back on the experience of my first marriage, I think one of the biggest lessons that I learned is if I truly want to have um, happiness and if I truly want to reflect the kind of person that I know um, that, that I am, then I need to be as honest with myself as, um, as I can. And that's something I really wasn't in, in my first marriage, you know. Uh, really wasn't honest about some of the things that made me angry, made me sad, made me feel like uncomfortable in the situation, and so I just kind of kept too much inside. And sometimes when you keep when you keep so much inside, you know, it's almost like it's almost like shaking up a, a like a coke bottle. Yeah. You know, you can only you can only like lock it up inside for so long before. Mm -hmm you know, kind of explodes on you. <laughs> yeah. And so I think, uh, like with every relationship that I have now, and it's one of the things that I love about my relationship with my wife right now is the honesty. We just have, like, this rigorous honesty with each other, mm -hmm. you know, where she'll be like, you know, I'm not feeling that, or I'm very I'm very happy about just being vocal about what's going on inside. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's something that I reciprocate, and, you know, it's uh, you know, we've been together for about five years now, That's and great. and so far it's proven to be, uh, uh, you know, something that that keeps us, um, keeps the relationship strong and flourishing and happy and so. That's my one little two cent Dr. Phil piece of advice. I love if, that. If, if something know, ain't right, talk about it. That's right. I love that because you're talking from experience. Yeah. And not only that, you know, when you're five years and knowing a person mm -hmm. really gives you a lot of time in order to get to know the person. That's true. And guess what? You did put a ring on it. You know what right. I'm saying? So that means a lot. You Absolutely. know, it means a lot that you're willing to commit what it is that of yourself that you know of yourself. Because you continue to grow as we mm -hmm. go along. I want to say congratulations. 
peace on you, not only for your single real love, but what is I consider to be unconditional love that you have with your daughter. Thank you. It is amazing. That's my life right there. Oh my <laughs> gosh. I mean, but when I heard you and your daughter sing together a cappella mm -hmm. and you know, and you're playing around, she's gorgeous, Thank she's you. beautiful. Thank Do you, you ever intend on doing something with her music? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I got um, I'm in the lab right now writing the songs for the next record and I already have a song for she and I to do as a duet. On my last album, Lost in Time, we did a song together called Summer Love. Yeah. And uh, so I got something else. I mean, she's just so talented. She writes so well. She's obviously, she's such a beautiful voice. And so it's definitely in her blood to be a uh, a singer songwriter it's my job now as the parent to try to keep her focused on school mm -hmm. you know which my, my parents weren't so successful <laughs> with me I mean they tried to do the same thing with me and I, I kind of dropped out after a couple years of college and, well, it's a different time, a different era, and a new yeah. awareness that we all have about Absolutely. each other mm -hmm. and the things that we would, would like for our children, you know, is not always forced upon, but sometimes yeah. just guided down Absolutely. the way, and they kind of see the picture. Real Love, your new single. Um, real Love, it, to me, is more than a feeling. It includes a few other things. What would you say that Real Love includes? Uh, uh, maturity, mm -hmm. uh, being evolved. Um, to a place where you're really able to give and receive um, what you're what you're wanting and what you're wanting to give. I mean, I, I feel like sometimes sometimes we rush into a relationship when when we may maybe maybe we have a little bit more life to live before we can be in the kind of relationship that we dream about. Maybe we're just not ready for it, or maybe we're just not ready for it with that particular person. But but uh, this song is just about you know, I mean, um, it, it's, it's very personal, and my wife is definitely going through, you know, her experiences of, of her relationships that have not gone right, and, yeah. and I've definitely done mine, and, you know, I've done a lot of self-exploration on, you know, why I made some of the mistakes I did, and why I had some of the pitfalls I did, so it's like, really like this process of evolution where you're ready, mm -hmm. you're ready for this beautiful beautiful event that's just gonna you know grow and evolve along as you have in your life and I mean that's mm -hmm. what uh, that's what this song is all about for well, me. Well you certainly have evolved because you recognize and then you recognize yeah. something and then you're willing to change that so Absolutely. that to me is, is real. Um, your song um, Real Love, your new single is in the stores now. We encourage everybody to go out and get it because Let me, it, what, What's today? Um, today is the 23rd. 23rd. Okay actually Two more days. Two more days. On Two the, more days. It'll okay, be available on, 20, on iTunes. On, on the 25th. Yeah. And it'll be available for everyone in yeah. order to um, purchase. Please do. And um, so don't just listen to it. Definitely do not steal it. Make sure that you um, purchase the single. And that um, goes for all single. artists out there. If you're feeling an artist, please, please artist. support that artist. You know, please buy that song. You know, please, when they come to your town, if you feel them, if you love their music, go see them, you know. That's what we, everybody wants to see you, Eric. <laughs> I mean, there are more hits that I have where I ask people, okay, a quiet evening with you and your husband, who would you like to sing to you? And they say, Eric Renee. That's beautiful. <laughs> that's a blessing right there. You know, so that's a beautiful yeah, thing. Beautiful. Eric Renee is new single, Real Love, and it will be available on the 25th of yeah. October. Make sure that you purchase it. What a pleasure just to have uh, you in our studios that's lovely. and just to be with you. You got a beautiful energy. It's always lovely talking to you. Oh, thank you. So much, yeah. Mr. Eric Renee, ladies and gentlemen, on your adult mix 105.3 WDAX. That's how you do it. <laughs> <laughs>